Hey there, I have a small rant to talk about and this one will be short, I promise. Stop using Discord. Like, really, I mean it. I'm just kidding. Um, the Discord as a software is, you know, a proprietary software. It's from a certain company that happens to na be named uh, the exact same. Uh, but what I'm talking about uh, is that uh, a lot of free software and open source projects are using Discord to docu document uh, different things, different important things about their project. And this is kind of becoming worrying uh, in a way because in the uh, previous years, while Discord wasn't that popular and while I was younger and a fresher Linux user, I would uh, go to the internet, I would search for some problem that I'm having with certain software. Uh, usually it would point me to some kind of online internet forum and I would just scroll down through the forum, I would read some topics, I would educate myself a little bit, and in the end I would find uh, the solution to my problem. That's how it used to work. Uh, these days um, we do have generally rich wikis for a lot of software. This is this is great. This is when developers and communities uh, put in some concrete effort into making uh, us like new users of their software uh, as comfortable as possible to use their software, right? Wiki is great. I have started using um, Hyperland a couple of months ago. I was uh, kind of freaked out in the beginning, but uh, their wiki is uh, pretty superb and uh, it, it gets, you know, it, it just, it takes just a little bit of time to get into it to understand how the um, their config files work and how you can change it. You can check out other people's dot .files and compare and take some inspiration. It's pretty easy, you know. Um, and I haven't had the need to dig through any, you know, I am having a problem with this or that to in order to dig through the um, any kind of online forums, right? But uh, even uh, the Hyperland project is being hosted on Discord. Uh, the Discord is primarily a chat application. That's the, the main way uh, of using it, right? But what it comes down to is that when you advertise a Discord uh, server as... Um, it's not a server, it's, it's like a room complex. Um, when you adver advertise your Discord room complex as something that is your main way of communicating with your... Uh, community of users, right? Then people tend to come in and ask questions. And there are always a lot of people who are willing to answer questions. And these questions and answer get logged on the Discord. And then as time goes by, people get to, uh, let's say, enjoy this kind of interaction, if that's the way that I should put it. Basically, they come to Discord first and then search for what they want to learn about or about their problem in, in the search box of Discord. Or if they cannot find it, they don't even bother searching on the internet uh, and just ask the question in, in the chat, right? Because it will most probably be answered by someone. And this is like a low effort um the way of doing things, both from the uh, user side of things and both from the developer side of things in the projects where Wiki is not rich enough. Um, and the way that Discord made things to start behaving is that people stopped looking for forums and developers stopped investing into forums and once the Discord decides that your server is no longer uh, good for their new terms and conditions or their new code of conduct or whatever, they might delete your Discord, you know? It's, it's not a good place to keep your documentation, in my personal humble opinion, and you should not be doing that, and you should not be supporting that. 
I'm not the one who will tell you what you should be using for your project and how you will be um, supposed to search for the solutions to your problems as a user. But what I would do if I had a project, I would use something like Matrix uh, for just the chat and the internet forums like plain old school style uh, for all the documentation about various problems that people have, which is clearly searchable and easily findable. And it cannot be taken away from me because, you know, it's mine. I host it. Um, it's mine, right? It's, it's, it's from our community, if that's the, the um, scope of the project. Uh, so just keep uh, the chat as it is. And then when I say this to, to the faces of actual people on the internet, sometimes it, they react with, uh, oh, if only Matrix would be as good as Discord. And usually when I ask for uh, concrete arguments, the arguments are kind of bad. It's like integration with um, uh, Twitch or integration with uh, coffee or integration with uh, various bots. Uh, Matrix has bots, it's not like they don't have it, but maybe they are used to having some bots that are uh, Discord exclusive or something like that. It, the, the arguments are usually fairly weak, uh, except when it comes to maybe moderation, but moderation is something that is improving and I believe it is going to come to... to um, good level uh, in the very near future with uh, with Matrix, right? If if you would ask me, I would put everyone on it, but you know, younger generations are not fond of this kind of communication where they cannot search, you know, backwards. Uh, personally, I think it's even better not to be able to search backwards because if you want to search something, uh, that means that this information is important and if this information is important it should not be in chat it should be on the internet forum that is uh, dedicated for your project stop using discord and i'm gonna see you in the next video